Dismuke is now on Facebook. Find us at facebook.com slash Radio Dismuke. Bring the sound of 1920s to 1930s from around the world 24 hours a day. This is Radio Dismuke. RadioDismuke.com at DismukeRadio.com. Yeah, good afternoon. Let me start the stream. There we go. Okay, let's see what we have on the program. Okay, I'm gonna try to recreate these tiles. can see they walk off a little bit so I'm gonna try to recreate recreate that and also these for the sci-fi builders it's not a inlay but it's sticking out a little bit. All with putty. Good afternoon, Peter. I'll keep my cam off for a moment because I'm still smoking. So I need to be consequent on that and not streaming that. I will skip a lot of things like making the mega voxels stacking them for this I stacked them six times and used only the only one line tool and with this one I stacked uh, smoothed it I believe four times and this one is believe f mm, this one is five times smoothed and this one is four times smoothed normal smooth all, all techniques by, uh, by by Cody and Tenma and Infinity of Light. I will put links in the video after I uh, upload it. So that's the plan for today. And... Um, I will keep that short because I want to build on my dwarf also later on. So we start off with this side and I will 
I show you the mega voxel board I made after the tutorial of Tenma and Cody, I believe. And I used that one, I think. Let me see the caps in between. Yeah, it's pretty narrow, so... Yeah, I used that one. So, what we will do, I will make make that one a bit, the reactor. These are just normal, normal voxels. And I will do that over here. I will do that fast, so you can see that too. And let's hope it works out. So, we take that texture. We place it in air. And we click. Yes, take another one, shift click, and hopla. Take another one, two sides, and that one, okay. What you do is take that, copy it. And place it in the air and place another one on top there. Okay. Now you take that one single voxel and add one in the center. Yeah, and one down. Okay. You can see it's that center now. Press OK. What you do is select this and smooth it down. And that was uh, five times. No control smooth, just normal smooth. Smooth. One, two, three, four. Ah, it's a four times smooth. Of course, let me check. One, two, three, four, yeah. First one was the pre-made reactor. So I will do a control Z. So you can see the layout is the same as this. But only the small voxels. I will select that again. And copy it and paste it right in the one down and it's in. Okay, I will do that. Not no. and you see it's stretching the one voxel you have in the middle out to a larger one. Two down. To that row, another one, and you have a stretched voxel, mega voxel. Take your selection tool, take the center, you can see, and copy that. So we have that it up. And we do it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, we do it five times. We only need a, a row of six blocks. So one down and it's six. With the original you pasted. Take the line tool. Make it a three way of three voxels wide. In the middle, on one side, and 
one on the other side. It's turning green, so it's good. And let me check. I believe it's like that, yes. Yeah, we have, at least we have two of them. You can see it right away. There should be one. After I color it. And this is all done by Tenma. Thanks to Tenma. I saw this, so you paint. No a selection, just paint. You can't go further to the left, so this is the most left voxel. You can see you go two over and it's a screw and oh that's nice. That's the first one, that's the second, that's the third skip one every time so that one and I can't go further now I will take the black one and you can take it by grabbing the seemingly center of it I believe it's that one Say Ctrl V. Turn it over, turn it over another time. And like that. No. Nope. Yeah. And shift it over to voxels. No, it has no line. Okay. And was it? Okay. That was a, a fail. Check if that's the white one, because I did it with this one. Okay. Yeah, it was the right one, and I think I did it right now. So you place one at six. Take the line tool. Yeah, that seems bad. Take the paint tool. Paint it. Skip. Skip one. Come on. And take that one. Take that one. And take that one. Yeah, that's, that's looking a bit more closer than... And even the shape looks almost the same. So, you take the black one in the center. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Because I'm not sure how I did it. <laughs> nice of me. I'm trying it out right now. No, I don't. Ah, oh, that's it. Yeah, that seems the trick. Doing the trick. Okay. As you can see, it has the 
line. So that's covered. You can do whatever you want with this. You take that. Yeah, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So you can fill them up with putty. If you close, if you do it neat, you won't get the reactions I'm getting over here. But that's what I'm gonna try re recreate now. And as you can see, you can do this for your sci-fi build, and I think it's adding something. Clevis, Eowyn, hi. How are you both doing? So that's one part. For this, I did the same. Also used a mega voxel, but I believe it was a less smoothed. Let me check the gaps. Yeah, it was less smoothed than this one. But as you can see, this one also walks in a bit. And good middag. <laughs> Thanks, thanks Clevis, thanks. Yeah, I need to fix my follower notifications. But I will do that. That's, that's not the main thing. And I really hope this, uh, this stream is not gonna get muted by YouTube after uploading it. Last Sunday I did a session of six hours and I uploaded it in two times three, three hours. And the first part of it got muted because one song was, uh, was licensed. So the whole three hours got muted. <laughs> awesome. Okay, for this one we're using the bigger mega voxel and that's one of the less smoothed and it's the third one. One, two, three, because this is the reactor. So we take that one that one and we check it. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Yeah, that's the good one. So we doing the same. Only now we put seven on it, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I believe that's right. So we take the line tool. And there. No. Ah. 
Yeah. So we do it another time. But we go back one voxel. So I'm gonna paint it again. Skip one. Um. Yep. Ah, that one. That one. Mm, okay. Trial and error. Let's do that different. Let's take it in one step. Hop over one directly. Let's see how it ends up after painting. That's one. Skip on. Yeah. Uh, that seems better. And I took the white one over here. Is it also so misshaped? Damn, what happened? Okay, somehow the line tools bugging me. Ah, I'm from uh, the Netherlands, Peter. And Eowyn, ah, that sucks. Hmm. I did some. Let me check. Can I do it in OBS? My settings. Broadcast settings. Video. Yeah, it should be downscaling already. My frames per second is... Maybe I can do that. Hi. Okay, let's hope this is better. Because I'm having my stream open also. And Okay, let's me check by putting on my fast gear and run around in the map. Let's take it to my other claim. It's heavy pulling. And even here, the frames per second are not bad. After removing lots and lots of light. Okay. Check my stream. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Now 
No, that sucks. I need to check it out. How I can fix it. Oh, I lost my jumping power. Yeah. Okay, running super fast is fun with these. But I also like jumping. Okay, let's go back to this. I'm seeing he is, strangely enough, he is screwing this one up also. So I'm not sure what's, what happened in the last update. Because this one I did as a mise en place, <laughs> as a tryout in two days back or something. And they are looking fine. And I did exactly the same as I did on this one, so I'm not sure what happened. It's even looking the same from the this side, but okay, let's see if it's working also with this one. Also, I'm taking that one. So I'm working with the white now. So I take that middle one. You can see it centered. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. We turn it one time. That's a good one. No, that's completely... Why? Okay, let's use that one. It's not a bad one. <laughs> I don't know why, but... Let's see how it ends up when I'm pasting it. It has a strange form. But maybe not a bad roof tile. Let's see how this ends up. Okay, he is stretching it. What's that? And if I mirror it, that way, yeah. can do nice stuff with it. I keep that one. But it's not the right one. So, I made up these earlier. I will stick them to my board. Because we can't make them anymore like that, it seems. Hmm. That's strange. Oh, and it's starting to getting busy over here. Let me check. Hey, mum, Mariam, also watching. Nozil, Nozil and Maniac, hi there. How are you both doing? Okay, let me smoke a little bit. So I'll take that white one. You see in the middle, select it. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And we start over right in the next. Okay. 
Okay, you see over here I started with a fat part on the bottom and it is slightly angled also and here it's centered to the horizon and pretty stretched out. So if we look at this one you see it's not quite there so that should be it. So let's take that one in a bit up, paste it down. Oh. Move it up to two eight three one two and you have a, a row of roof tiles. So I'm gonna copy this one and I only need four. Yeah. Control C control V. in, two up, one back, and slide it over one. That's a good one. No, it's needed to slide back two. What's that? That's a good one. It's in the middle. Okay. I'll take my selection tool. Take one on the end with it now. Oh, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Okay, let me check that message. Nuzo, hi. Thanks for the follow, Nuzo. Thanks. Thanks. Always appreciate it. And slide it over. It's still in, but we go up one. And I think that's a correct one. Yeah, that's a correct one. So, we have that row prepared. It's similar to this one, only slightly bigger. We only need to do it on s certain points and we can copy it later. So as you can see, you see it on the back side of it. So we take our putty. I think the most will know how to make putty. Otherwise, you need to be under the ground and make a selection. Pull it out, press shift, press it in, take your paint tool, paint it, and like this, paint, hit your select tool, pull it up again, make it one, and pull it in like three voxels in the ground. So you make sure it's selected and you copy and paste it and you can see we have our putty. Not gonna explain what putty is. There are many videos who do that. So we start out with the middle rows. And it goes in there, in the middle. It's a, a void space. So put it in and stretch out. Put it over twice, stretched. Put it over twice, and stretched. And done. I'm gonna create this one now. First, I think 
what I did was filling those all up. So it's in there again. And I fill it up with cement. A putty cement. That's one is. Ah, that's a good one. It's a good one. Uh, in. In. And in. The last one. So. X. And what we gonna try to do. What I think what I did last time is. Put one over here, over here, 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 and here. Just fill it, fill it up, and just see how the voxels react. Uh, reacting. That's how how they should react because they get pulled by to the back by that one, this one, and pulled also out by these corners and then we should get that angle like here like over here you see the pulling out so we're gonna see If that's the correct place, yes. You see already it started over here. So I'm not sure what I did next. If I let's try it and let's see what it did on the back. Okay, we have what we wanted. We have one side we can copy. So, let's see what it does when I do this. Oh, wait a minute. I pull it, yeah, to that. Do Ctrl Z. And let's see what happens now. Nothing. But. Should have. Hmm. Okay, let's do that now. Control Z. Just over there. And let's see what's happened now we do it. That. Okay. Does it look any kind similar? Uh, starts to look like. <laughs> but I'm not happy with it. So we take it like that. We have one side we want. So. I think I need to copy that. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Okay, what I did was I. This is the original. I copied. I place it in the air. I take my. Red selection tool, hit V, V is the mirror, it mirrors the square, and I'll paste it right over on that side. 
And I did not what it should do. Okay. Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z. Hit the selection tool. And I think I need to also copy that one. And maybe further in. Yes. Also that one. Okay. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. You see my selection is now 2 by 2. By 2. A little bit in the air. Paste it. Hit the V. Paste it in. And let's see what happens. Yay. Okay. You can see how the putty the putty voxel has yeah, <coughs> reacted sorry for that reacted to the corners of the opposite side so it pulled out the, like a mini reactor to fill it up what we do now is use the selection tool and I believe it's this now. So, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Then, now we need to rotate it. Like that. Now you can see we hit the white angle of the bottom uh, Yeah, the bottom layer over here. Sorry. <laughs> It's looking pretty much the same. So, we. A little bit up, place it down. Go up to. And you have your. It seems it's a cut out, but it's only putty voxel what's sticking out. But it, from the bottom, it's, it's seeable. You can see it's sticking out, but when you're looking like this, it's like ventilation gaps or something. So, we have that one covered also. And you can do all kinds of things with it. Uh, let me see if I saved some. I built, built it with that and went out on this. <laughs> some spikes on your roofs. Nicely filled in. A nice corner piece, and the bottom is also looking like a grinder. <laughs> This is the same part I made earlier. That's why I wanted to show you all. On wood, it does not look that bad. This one it seems. A little bit different. Took out more. But that doesn't matter. So that's uh, mainly how to do it. And it's by accident, but those does not look bad.
rather walk in much more than these. These are only slow, slow slopes. No, no. Hmm. Nice. So let me think. Did I forget something? No, I don't think I forgot something. And otherwise, there is another time to do it. And I used it all by. this board. And I made it that one of the videos Cody and Tenma were showing. With making the the offset um, meshes, I believe the uh, for the cam builds. Mm. So yeah, that one worked, and let me. Stop the recording a little bit.